today we will see open circuit both in remote and local mode of a 66 kV SF6 gas circuit breaker wiring diagram. First of all, let us consider that the circuit breaker is in closed position and the position or states of the contacts are after the circuit breaker closes. Then the network diagram will be as shown here. For understanding closing circuit of a circuit breaker, refer previous videos which will be given in the description below. Let us see it in a more simplified form for better understanding. Now the DC supply is given and the positive current flows like this. When the fuse is in healthy condition and in service position, the current will flow like this. From this we can say that remote trip is given at terminal number 10 having terminal block X1 with a wiring ferrule K21. This we have already learned in a previous videos how to read terminal number, terminal block and wiring ferrule to refer click on description link below. Now here the current have two path to flow but the direction of current depends upon which path is selected which is decided by the selector switch S12. Let us consider a case where the selector switch S12 is connected in remote mode then its contact S12 will be in this position. Now when the operator present in the control room performs the trip operation, the current will flow like this passing through the tripping coil and will stop at the gas supervision relay. Here K3 relay will close its contact only when the SF6 gas pressure in the circuit breaker is more than 6 bar and when it is more than 6 bar, the relay gets energized and changes its contact from NO to close position. Then the current by flowing through K3 and fuse completes the tripping circuit. Thus energizing the tripping coil and as soon as the circuit breaker gets tripped its auxiliary contact along with the K1 relay which is the anti-pumping relay will change its contact as shown here. So with this it completes our tripping circuit in remote mode. Now let us see tripping circuit in local mode. Now for open circuit operation in local mode let us consider that the circuit breaker is in closed position and the contact shown over here is after the circuit breaker closes. Previously, we have seen that the selector switch S12 is connected in remote mode. Now, let us consider case 2 where the selector switch is connected in local mode. Then, the connection of S12 will be something like this. Now again, as we have seen in our previous videos, we will follow the same logic. In local mode, the selector switch is connected to local and when the operator performs the trip operation from where the circuit breaker is placed in the switch yard the current flow like this passing through the tripping coil gas supervision relay and the fuse and completes the trip circuit as soon as the trip circuit gets completed the tripping coil energize and as soon as the circuit breaker gets tripped its auxiliary contact S1 along with the anti-pumping relay K1 changes its contact from NO becomes closed and NC becomes open. Also, the tripping coil gets de-energized. So with this, it completes tripping circuit in local and remote mode. So for more upcoming videos, keep on like, subscribe and share.